Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And I'll show you how the process is. You can replicate that process on your machines and get the software installed whenever you get time. So first we'll go into Google and we'll write download SSMS 2019. Or for that matter, you don't have to write 2019. You just have to write download SSMS. Now, what is the full form of SSMS? SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS. Once you do that, the first link you will be getting from official Microsoft website. You have to go to that link. You click on that link. Documentation regarding SSMS opens up. You have to just click on the first link, which is free download for SQL Server Management Studio. And once you do that, a download will start in your downloads folder. So this is a big file around 600 MBs. So this will take some time. Once the download is over, you can go into your downloads folder and you will see an application here, SSMS. Yeah, you can see that the size of file is around 653 MBs, which is fine. We double click on it. It takes about few seconds to start the installation process in your machine. So we'll wait for that. If any administration password or something is required, just do that, click yes, then you will come to this window where it will ask you where you want to install it. So I don't want to change the location. I want to keep it like that. I'll click on install. So then it takes some time to install all the packages which are associated with SSMS internally. You don't have to do anything. At this point, you can just wait for some time until unless the installation is done. You can fast forward this part since, I mean, it takes little bit time, depends on the configuration of your laptop or your personal computer. So even though I have 16 GB of RAM, it, it still takes some time. So if you have a little bit less RAM, it might take a little bit more time at your end. But it's not a very big application to install. So it usually get installed easily and there is not much to do or interfere in between. You have to just leave the process as it is. So it is almost installed. You can see setup completed. All the specified components have been installed successfully. I'll close this window. Then I'll go in my search bar. Then I'll start right. SSMS. And the first link which will pop up is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'll double click on it. It takes some time to install. So here. This is your welcome window. It will ask you to connect to a server. Configuration you are seeing right now is uh, will be provided by syntax to you before the class. So once you provide all these information, select the relevant engine, server name, SQL Server authentication, ID, password. When you hit connect, it takes some time, uh, depends on your internet connection. So just like we have already done the almost the same thing for Oracle SQL developer. So this is also one of the same interface, but from a different company. So it gives you a different hands-on. Here in the databases, we can see Adventure Works is there, Test is there, which we will use eventually. But as of now, you don't have to worry about it. As of now, you just have to uh, make sure that your uh, software is installed properly and it's able to work properly. That's it. If you have any questions around that, you can definitely ask them and try to install the software before the class so that we can, I mean, start the class directly without spending much time on installation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time.